Good day, everyone. John Law here, Sammy at the uh, controls. And who knows? Chester, once again, missing in action. We're here again for the Community Puzzle Project. This is going to be day three of my um, modifications to your puzzle, your puzzle pieces. Uh, again, anybody who's stumbled across this, you want to go to the com communitypuzzleproject.com and learn more about it, get involved and participate. The videos that we're doing currently on YouTube are under The Tech Bear. Um, just go to YouTube and search for The Tech Bear. They'll eventually be on the website uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday as we complete this first puzzle. Well, without further ado, let's see where we're at, shall we? If you remember last time, we left off on row four, down to here. This guy right here, this row right here. We are happy with everything down here. We being me, seeing how I'm the one modifying it. Now we're gonna go on down to row five. Let's go ahead and open up row five to remind us where we're at. And are we at this one? One below that. That's what we're working on. All right, we have a little bit of glare on that one, glare on this one. It looks like we have just a touch on this book here. So why don't we just go ahead and do all those, well, at least these first two first, as far as trying to clean them up a little bit. So we are right here. All right, so what we did last time Oops, we've got to remember to open it up here before we go to edit and let it get loaded. Again, but everything's up in the cloud. you got to give it a chance to get down here. Notice how flat this looks because it has a glare running across it. With this, per this particular program, I can apply what's called a filter, a photo filter called a polarizer, which you can get for your cameras, which may or may not help depending upon the lighting you're using and other conditions. But with a polarizer, I can bring it down at least that much. Okay? So we can see a lot more of the green, the more detail that the person put in there. We don't really, the light apparently is coming from this corner because that's got it pretty strong. So let's take one more look at our piece. We are slightly, I wonder if we could slide that up, see if we have any sliding room up. Uh, oh, we gotta change our ratio here. And 2.3. Hmm, we get a little bit. So what I'm thinking is we slide that up a little bit, that might get a little closer to line up with the other piece. So let's go with that and apply that. And then we'll do an export. And we've got a three, two by three, 300, looks good. And looks like we're going to the right spot. I haven't been messing with any of the other projects today, so we've got that in there. <clears throat> so let's go back to our and find the guy we're looking for. And one thing I forgot to do was get the file set up, so we may have to hunt around a little bit. And right there, didn't have to hunt too far. There it is there. It's underneath everything, but that's all right. As soon as we slide it over here, it'll pop back up. Ooh, look how we did. How'd we do? Oh, we did good. That almost lines up perfectly, doesn't it? Look at that. Nicely done. Job well done. Let's give that a quick save. <clears throat> Make sure it's fully saved before we do anything. Last time we crashed the system when we were jumping ahead. All right, we're gonna go to the next guy. Oh, well, well wait, 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 wait. You wanna do anything with the color? You wanna see if we can shift that color a little bit to the green? Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Color, I mean, contrast-wise, we look good. So remember we did the down here adjustments and we did color balance and we try to add a little bit of green. Let's 
going to affect everything around it. And mm, I don't know. We got to take some of the blue out, so add a little bit of red to that. Now let's see if we can bring it back. Take a look at that. Turn it off. Well, it does look a little bit better going with the rest of it. Let's go ahead and get those two together. And it looks a little bit better. This would have been dark if we didn't have that glare on there. All right, we'll go with that. Now we'll go up to this guy, should be the next guy, okay. And we want to go ahead and do the polarizer on him, just like we did. Go back. And we want this one. Ooh. There's, see, there's a lot of detail in here that we did not see because of the glare. How's the rest of the lineup look? Uh, let's go back here. I'm not sure what we're lining up to. Well, this book over here, there's not a book over on this side, though, that we see. All right. So it's lined up with the Okay, so the lineup looks good. We'll go with that lineup. We'll just see if we can get rid of that glare. Go into Edit, Effects, Filter, Photo. First thing I do is go to Neutral Density and take it down to zero. And then we go polarizer and crank it all the way up to 100. Now this looks a little blue now that we've corrected it. What do we look over here? A little blue. We need to get a bit more black. So we might be able to do that with um, contrast. I think we can play with that over on Photoshop side. We'll go ahead and export this. And everything looks good there. And export. Wait for it down here. And we'll go back. And Photoshop. Turn off this one. Should be the top one. Slide it over. Okay. All right, let's see if we can do something with a little bit of levels. Remember our little trick last time? For the black side, you go to the uh, left side. You can start dragging across, and so you start seeing something show up in that one square. There we go. Starting to show up there. That's a little better, right? Oh, look how they did that bottom piece. They matched that. Look at that. Ooh, that's impressive. I love when you guys do things like that. All right, so we got a little bit. I'm going to go with that. Contrast-wise, I think we look good there. And color-wise, if we can get rid of some of that blue by adding a little yellow. It might go green, though, on us, right? Yeah, it's going to go green. So if we go a little bit green to neutralize a little bit and put take a little bit of red to it, that, that looks a little better, right? You're not going to get it all the way over to brown. I think we're going to go with that. So we're going to take those two adjustments and the other guy. I'll take that. That looks good. The next guy looks good. I don't think I need to do anything with him. The next guy should be this one. He's got a little bit of glare up at the top. Well, let me just take a quick peek at it. All right, so this one. We might be able to do something with that. So let's go ahead and give it a quick edit. Effects, filter, photo. Now, <clears throat> if we do a neutral density, and right now, see, it's great, uh, graduated, so it's coming down from the top. So that alone has already darkened it. So I am almost tempted just to leave that go. Let's go ahead and do the polarizer. This is at 30. We're going to take that down to nothing. Let's put the polarizer in it and see what it does. And I see it does a better job. Well, it does it. It helps a little bit down here in the books. 
I'm going to take the books. Let's go back to the, what we're working with. Because I'm making the books darker. And it looks like we're going to have to darken him a little bit. We, we're doing this guy, right? Yeah. Let's, um, hmm. You don't want to go too much darker on it. So what is that done with how we got? That's not too bad. If we put the neutral density in and get the top, <clears throat> that helps that one. Let's take polarizer down just a touch. And we'll take the natural density up a little bit. I'll go with that. What do you think? I think it's worth a shot. Hey, worst case, we have to come back and do it again, right? And that's not so bad. All right, wait for it to process. Done, done. Back to where we were. Turn that one off. <clears throat> Excuse me. How we look. Well, I like the darkness better than what was there. There we go. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, next guy. And I'd like to get that string lined up a little bit better. The book doesn't look too bad, but I'm thinking if we slide a little bit to the left, I might pull the string if we, if we have any room. I don't know if we have any room. So let's go see what we got. Could be a tight fit. All right, let's go to edit. Take a look at the crop. Uh, they crop it tight. Well, brat. Because if I did, see, I can't. I can't go outside the box. Up and down, we're good. Go back. Nah, darn close. Didn't give me any room to play with that one. Let's just cancel that out because what we had wasn't that bad. So we'll go ahead and go out and come back in. Got a little bit of glare on it. Let's see what we can do with that. That definitely helped it. <clears throat> we might need a little bit more brightness. We can do that on the other side. That looks pretty good. Yeah, all good there. And save, export, and back. Turn it off. Back on. So what do we got? GOTs by Perco Piasolo Pop. Echo, echo. Off. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden she just talks. Now <clears throat> if I wanted to line that up, see what I've done? I'm just moving it across a little bit. And then now this this area here we have to make up for. Now we have a couple. We, we have we can see if there's anything left on this guy, which I'm probably assuming there won't be. But I'm gonna leave that there for right now. Because worst case we can come back and just drop a color behind that, with the dark color, and that is how I could line that up. Now see the book on the bottom though. Unless I can move this one over a little bit. Again, you know, we're trying to do a couple things here. We may not be able to. We'll leave that one alone for right now. Um, <clears throat> that was this one. And we can change its color. Just that one piece so we can, so it sets out. All right, so the guy next to him is this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a beverage here. Let's see if that one's got any space around it. We've got glitter to get rid of. 
But do we have anything we can do with anything? Uh, not really. We got a little bit we can pull. But it won't be the right proportion. I think I'll just drop a color down behind it instead. And that's fine. We'll just leave that alone. I think it'll just be easy. We just have one little sliver we need to cover up. And I'll show you how that's done. Neutral density, take it to nothing, polarizer. Yeah, that helps. Now, our color is really different than everybody else around it, I think. So let's take a quick look at that. We are working on this one here. Oh, we are going green. Boy, that is a huge shift. We have both of these. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How am I going to do that? Out of curiosity, let's just add another filter, photo filter, and let's add a green one. Solid. I'm down over here playing with the little wheel. That's not too good. That's what that's doing. We just indulge it. Hmm. I don't know if I can do that. That's just such a huge difference in color. I'm going to turn that one off. We'll just go with the polarizer. That one's not being used. Close that one. We'll go with the polarizer, and yeah, I'm not sure we can do anything with that color. Not without doing a lot of work. You can do color replacement. You can say make the browns green. But, I mean, really? That's all right. Okay. Let's just see what we got. Yeah, Photoshop, where'd you go? Turn that one off. Well, it's definitely better with the contrast fixed up. Do a quick save on that while we think about it. We could try the color balance. What other choices do we have? We've got saturation, color balance. We have color replacement. But that is such a mix of colors. Hue, wait, hue. Now, hue might be able to do it. That's going red. Nice magenta. Purple. Blue. I think we can go the other way. Come on. That's as green as we can get, it looks like. Hold on a second. No. You guys see in the yellow green, I'm thinking right there, does not really look too bad, does it? It's changing everything up there, though. Let's look at the guy above him. Oh, it just changed everything below, so it's not changing the one above it. So if I did that, what else can we put on top of that? Let's think here for a second. I wonder if we desaturated it some. All right, let's go with that for a second and go with our saturation and just desaturate it. Okay, that's a little much. A little more. What do you think? That's not too bad. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, you may hate me in the morning. I'm going to go with that. Not bad. This guy next to him, what do we got? Hmm. What do we have? The B lines up. These kinds of the tear. That lines up. I think it's just really color balance. Let's take a quick look. Oh, it's a baby piece. 
Okay, just out of curiosity, let's just go ahead and just polarize it because it does look like it has a glare across it. So I think next time we're just going to automatically do this part. Yeah. All right, let's go with that. And boy, that color is really, really yellow. Really, really yellow. Let's um, let's go with another filter here, and the blue would counter it. Would almost make it back to a gray. Look at that. But now it's pretty dark. But it's okay. We can lighten that up on the other side. I'm thinking. Let's. All right, call me crazy. Let's go for this. I got. You know, I'm going to see if we can lighten it up over in Photoshop. And all good. Exports. Okay. Photoshop. Turn it off. Let's just see what we got. Uh, wrong piece there, bro. People on over here. Okay, we'll take you and we'll turn you off, turn you back on. What should I just do? Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty good. I'd like to lighten that, the side up there a little bit. I'm thinking if we do the curves and we play with the shadows, Let's just see if we can lighten up the shadows. Uh, too much the same tones. Just lightening the guy next to him a little bit. That's not too bad there. Let's turn it off for a second. Yeah, it helped. Because it was painted almost black, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Okay. I... I think we can go with that. Let's go with that, huh? All right, not that guy, this guy. And he got yellow. Well, you know, all in all, he's not bad. The only thing that's wrong is really that yellow. That's compared to the sign above it. I mean, it's not necessarily wrong. It's just the sign above it is so much not yellow. If we took out the yellow, we can take out the yellow in this. So you have to get fancy and mask that until that's what you want to just control. You know what? I think it's going to leave it. It is definitely painted yellow. Let's pop it open for a second. Hmm. I wonder. See, we can mask it. Then you have to invert it. Say you want to color that. I'm playing here. Now, let's see, you're applying it. No. No, I just think that's really more, because you need to shift this color. If we glazed over it, what do we need to neutralize it. The one over here is what is grayish, is grayish green. So if we paint over it, see I've never done all that with this 
in this program. We could possibly do it over in Photoshop. All right, let's, um, we won't mess with it here. I think we'll, we'll be, let's just go over there. Let's go back here. If we wanted to, let's see what I got. I'm going to add a layer. So this layer is above this one. Okay, this, this is the guy we're working on, right? So anything I do on this layer will only affect that layer. So I'm going to blow it up so I can see what I'm working on. And normally I would do this on my tablet, but I'm going to do it with my little finger instead. We're going to grab a paintbrush. We're going to make the paintbrush bigger. Where's my paintbrush? That's smaller. Let's go bigger so we can see it. There he is. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's how big he is. Let's give him a color. What color do you think you want? Well, we want to go with a blue because we're kind of we're just going to glaze it is what we're going to do. Because we're going to see what's underneath it. That's my thought, anyways. And so you take the opacity down to oh, let's take it like thirty percent, twenty percent. Like I said, anything we do is on the layer above us. What do you think? A little better. Do another coat. No, you don't want another coat. Let's not get greedy. See, it's not quite the right color I wanted, but that's that is better. Now, see if we turn it off. That's what we had. You gotta admit that's a little bit better, right? All right. Let's see if we can do it a little bit cleaner now. Now that we have it, load up really big, really big shoe. No. See, it's got to be one. It's just one and go is all you got. Because it's, you know, you're, you're treating it like a glaze, and if you do another one, it's going to be another glaze on top of it. And back here, this guy. There we go. I say we go with that. What do you say? I think that's. You got a minute now. Come on, look at it. That's better than that, right? It's a little closer. Sure. I would say do it. Okay. You talked me into it. All right. Row done. How long did I take? 27 minutes. I better stop there. I get these things too long, you guys won't watch them. I don't even know if you're watching them now. All right, so that finished row five. We have how many more to go? Three more to go. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you on row six coming up. Which one is it? That's this one right here. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad if I behave myself and just go flying through it. All right. Remember, Community Puzzle Project is where we're working on. That was number three of the corrections up to row, whatever I said, uh, through row five. We're up through row five. All right, see you in the next one.